A SoCal shocker, Los Angeles once again taking Traffic was a nightmare in Los Angeles. I mean, at the end of the day, um, the most valuable human resource is time. You hear it, time and tide waits for no man. And that's exactly what uh, the Besla X3000 aims to solve. You know, it's a flying car that gets you from A to B. You don't have to mess with traffic on a daily basis, tolls. Um, when you have so much more time on your hands, you, you go to work early, you come back early, you spend time with your family, your friends. You know, you build your passion projects, you build your dreams, you build your future. All because you're saving more time with a flying car. And we came up with Super Air Alloy. So it's lighter than air. I mean, come on, get on my game. Lighter than air. Okay, and other materials include cloud cotton for the seats because if you're flying up in the clouds, it has to be comfortable. You want to feel like you are in on the clouds. I don't want to feel like I'm sitting in the lap of some middle-aged businessman. I want to feel like I'm being hugged by George Clooney. <laughs> Building an entirely new engine was obviously an easy option, but we wanted to go with the more complicated route. So we got 300 grants from CERN uh, to use their particle collider and study dark matter physics and quantum theory, in which we devised a shrink ray that we used to shrink an Airbus Engine Alliance GP7000 A380 861 turbofan engine capable of flying 9,700 nautical miles nonstop for over 20 hours. And we took that, we shrank it to 10 size, and we put it inside the car. Simply because we wanted the atomization of the particles, not discounting dark matter theory, to be able to support about 20,798.756 donkey strength worth of weight and to travel about 9,877 llama thrusts in acceleration from 0 to 8,000 in 2 seconds. It's genius, I know, but it was just simple math for us. It's just a matter of applying age-old physics some extra calculations, sure the work's gonna be harder, but I think in the long run, it's something that's better for humanity, um, something that improves the lives of mankind on an everyday level. That's it, we're done, right? <laughs> Who's gonna buy this shit, seriously? A flying car? Jesus Christ. Like, even, even I wouldn't bother, it was just like, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't understand, I have no idea how they, they made me part all my money for this crap, you know? <laughs> Well, it was just like, okay, it sounded like a fucking good idea at that time. It was probably a six drink scene. You know, I don't want to stop my kid to crash the next day. I'm like, oh, this is like, that's it, right? Oh, shit. Oh, God, it's real hot in here, isn't it? Oh, damn, shit. I got to get out of here. Come on, guys, please stop, please. No, no, I got to go. Someone call my lawyer. I need my accountant. No, 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 no. no. That's it.